Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lapwe. If you're new here, hi, nice to meet you. I create content around life in Canada and lifestyle content in general. I'm based in Edmonton, Alberta. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get an alert when a new video comes up. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me again. I appreciate you guys. In today's video, I'm going to keep it very short and simple. So as you may know, or if you don't know, now you know. I'm very interested in anything that has to do with interior decorating. I actually have a certification um, as an interior decorator. Though I haven't really like, you know, gone all out doing all of that. But I have that in the box anyway. That's, that's a topic for another day. I'm coming to you today to present to you the interior design trends for 2024. If this is something you're interested in, then make sure you keep watching. Where am I coming from with this? It's not, it's not like I'm an expert or anything, like, you know, I'm interested in it, I like it, I enjoy it, I enjoy, you know, decorations of interiors, but I feel like, you know, as this is the very good time, the beginning of the year, typically Q1, you know, is when you see information about how things will turn out for the year, you know, if you get, if you catch my drift. So the idea is, and I'm not an expert, just as I said, but the idea is, you know, taking a look at what other, you know, professionals are saying, experts in the field, and even the, the, the trends, the design trends that, that you see around. And this is not just restricted to just interior um, design, interior decoration. This also is, you know, decisions across board, like in the fashion industry, you know, footwear, clothing, furniture, and all of that. So it actually transcends through different industries. And I have five interior design trends that may interest you. One thing to know, however, is you know when things are trendy, just know that they will most likely, just as soon as they become trendy, they will easily fall off trend. So that's why people, you know, experts in interior design field, let's just say the fashion, you know, anything that has to be designed, will usually typically tell you to lean towards more classic styles, you know, styles that can stand the test of time instead of jumping on every trend. But the way to go about, you know, jumping on a trend is picking bits and pieces of that particular trend and not just adopting the entire trend, if that makes sense. But anyway, enough of my rambling, let's jump into the video. All right, so the number one trend you're gonna be seeing in 2024, you're gonna be seeing the rise of warmer tones, um, more earthy colors, so you're gonna be seeing more browns, Greens, beiges, like that, you know, those types of colors, warmer tones, which, you know, in the, in the recent past, you can see more cool tones and more whites. You see, in the past, we've seen, you know, all white kitchens, and then we got to the point where we have, like, double tones, um, which are still, like, cool tones, like, for example, sage and white, or, you know, like, a sky blue and white, if that makes sense. But now we're going to be seeing more warmer colors, where people incorporate, like, browns, um, creams, beiges, and things like that. I think that's actually a good way to incorporate warm tones into your home because typically a warmer tone will raise the temperature of the room. So you know you don't want to raise the temperature of your bedroom, for example, because the bedroom is where you relax, you want to feel cool, you want to feel calm. But if you are adding a, an earthy color, um, like if you're adopting like a Japanese Japan style, for example, where they have a lot of warm tones, you can incorporate that into your design. It doesn't have to be like Japan from A to Z. You can mix Japan with your current, maybe contemporary style, or if it's a transitional style. But you get the gist. Warm tones are here for the year 2024. Number two, the second trend you're going to be seeing in year 2024 is people incorporating um, collectibles, you know, collections, like things you get from maybe vintage stores or thrift stores, or maybe when you travel, things that you pick up. Um, you won't typically find this trend in a contemporary home because contemporary designs really like clean, you know, very clean lines and no clutter anywhere. But even as we've adopted minimalism in the recent years, you know, like from the millennium, you begin to see now where there's this minimalism slash max maximalism combined. Um, that's where you're going to be seeing. So you'll be seeing collectibles even in a room that is supposed to be minimalist. So it's still going to be. Um, a minimalist room, but those collections, which are usually there and personal to us, will be incorporated into those spaces. So here is a very good way for you to incorporate items. If you are someone who picks things up when you travel, here this year, you know, just look for ways. This year, you can look for ways to incorporate those things 
within your space instead of just hiding them. Collectibles are here. What do I need to do for? And this third point, I, I know that my DIY people are going to be very excited about this. I'm not a DIY person <laughs> by any means. And even if I try any DIY, it's always like hit or miss. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. And sometimes I'm like, I don't want to try this. Let me just get the professionals. But this year, we're going to be seeing the more DIY elements come into play. So if you're into DIY, then yeah, this year is your year. <laughs> that makes sense. But what I mean by this is, you know, and it doesn't necessarily have to be you. You could, you could actually still purchase DIY elements. But point I'm trying to bring here is you're going to be seeing more natural finishes. You know, things that are made by hand, woven, you know, um, uh, molded, you know, things like that, that will show the imperfections in them. You're going to be seeing more of that. And you will actually see those even incorporated in a minimalist space. And I think it's actually a very good trend because, you know, most times you look at, um, DIY, you look at DIY finishes as, oh, this is cheaply made. But when we begin to see more of that, you kind of feel, you know, the personal touch to those types of items and it kind of gives like this homely feel. If you're putting those items within your home, it kind of, you know, gives like a, like a homely feel to that space. Number four, this trend actually is my favorite. And it is the mixing of metals. So typically in the last couple of years, we've seen gold, you know, come out very, and gold is a very bold piece, um, bold color, very statement piece. You see it in homes that are decorated like in a traditional way, even in a contemporary style, gold, gold, gold everywhere. But we don't see silver. What happened to silver? Silver was actually really common in the 90s and then it just died out. I don't know what happened. But now you're going to be seeing the rise of mixed metals. And when I say mixed metals, you'll be seeing like gold and silver combined in a room, which you won't have to be seen in the past. You also see brass and bronze coming back to play. It's not just about gold, you know, gold has been here, it's done its time, but now it's time to bring in the rest. And I think this again is a really good trend because if you sometimes what happens, what I find when people try to decorate their space with gold is they overdo it and then the room looks extremely loud and uncomfortable to be in. I don't know if you guys vibe what I'm saying. But imagine mixing in a room full, filled with gold. Imagine putting in the silvers, you know, putting in the bronzes. It kind of cools things down. It gives you a balance, like a leveled eye to take a look at everything within the room. So I think this is a really good trend and I'm here for it. And my fifth trend, this is the last trend um, that I am proposing for the year 2024, is minimalism is still in very much effect. But it is minimalism with a dash of maximalism. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you observed during Christmas how people were into decorating their trees, like those that went with the whole candy cane or even like ski effect, how the trees were like so infused with so much, like you literally not even see anything on the tree. I don't know if you guys observed that. So now, imagine that transitioning into like designing your space. So the room is still minimalistic, like the base is probably still white. But we have like you know this statement piece furniture we've got a plant by the side we've got a side table we've got a coffee table we've got a rug or a carpet that fills the space and it's got this really large imprints you know that once you walk into the room you're like oh wow this is a very you know, unusual rug that's one and then you see on the on your couch maybe you're decorating with the throw blanket and your pillows you know but pillows have like interesting patterns and you know shapes not necessarily different colors it might still be colors that infuse into the room but those shapes those patterns are like really bold and loud and you're like okay that's where the maximalism actually comes from so minimalism is still very much you know trendy and it's still here to stay or we're putting in a dash of maximalism within the space i find this trend to also be an interesting one because you know minimalism can be a bit clinical sometimes in some spaces or plain boring so you know if we're going to be bringing elements of like art decor for example art decor has really bold statement pieces um, bringing, bringing that into a minimalist space like a transitional room or a contemporary space for example like you know bringing that merge together really will you know make that room pop and I think it very much speaks to where we are at, you know, society-wise today. Like, it's not one size fits all. A particular interior design style doesn't necessarily 
mean that you have to go 100% with that style. You can always mix things up, to be honest. You know, create your own style. Be creative, you know, do something new. And yeah, do something new, do something creative, you know, make your room have a splash of color. I'm actually doing some research and I checked the color of the year on the Sherwin Williams website and it's actually like a breezy blue. It's called Upward SW6239. It's like a very, it's like a powder blue, you know, like a very cool sky type of blue. And I feel that color would be really great for a bedroom or like an accent wall or a playroom, you know. It's a really good, cool color. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. So in this current day and age, in this current dispensation we're in, you know, a lot of people work from home or they're in a hybrid model type of work. So you still end up spending more time at home. So people are beginning to pay more attention to what their home looks like, that they want their home to be somewhere they want to be. So you want to design your home or you know decorate your home in a way that is habitable, that makes you feel happy and you know comfortable in. And even when you have guests over that is, you know, um, able to accommodate people that like hosting you know environments to have people over right so you can decide to pick bits and pieces of some of the trends you don't have to go full on with the trend i personally do not like adopt trends like a hundred percent i just do bits and pieces you know incorporate them into my space that's why you can't really look at my space and say oh this person's got a contemporary home or a She's got a traditional home or she's got a shabby shape design style within my space and that's really what I enjoy about interior decoration. And with that guys, we've come to the end of today's video. It was a really quick one. If you have any other trends in mind, let me know in the comments or if you think I fell off the mark, let me know as well. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get an alert when I release a new video. Thank you guys for watching and stay lively. Bye guys.